Hello, welcome to the Hearts United, one stop for everything Manchester United. I'm here to give you all the latest Manchester United news coming out today. As today is a very super Monday because we have lots of news coming out today. So many, so many news coming out today. The new jersey was launched today. Uh, we have some real updates concerning Delete. That deal is very, very close. Uh, we have some news concerning Lugati. A new bid might go in for Lugati this week. Brightway deal might be off. We have some updates um, because our director of football is in and starts immediately. And that will accelerate a lot of incomings and outgoings. And we have some updates concerning McTominay, who is up for sale and who am I looking at him. Also, Victor Lindelof, Harry Maguire, as we look to sign a second centre-back. If we have to do that, one of these two players or two of them would have to leave the club for that to progress. Also, Amrabat and Mason Greenwood. Updates on all of those. Like I said, it's a super Monday. A lot to talk about. Don't forget to watch this video to the end to get the news, the gist of every single thing. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, so every minded fan out there can get access to this and be informed. Remember, every news discussed about today is from reliable source. It's not guesswork. It's not um, making things up. We are going with the reliable sources out there in the world of football and in the world of transfers. So like this video, share this video, leave your comments, tell me what you think about everything discussed about today, and let's get straight into everything. And starting with Matthias Delit, according to Florian Plettenberg, a Sky Sports journalist, he said, FC Bayern Munich have now set a price tag for Matthias Delit and are now demanding at least 50 million euros plus bonus payments. No official offer for United yet. Top agent Rafaela Pinata is in direct touch with United to find an agreement and a top solution for the elite as Ten Hag really, really wants him. So yesterday, it was said that we were discussing with his representatives. All of a sudden, today, that has been progressed into, we are now speaking with Jam with Bayern Munich, which means that we have probably reached an agreement in, in terms of personal terms with, he with him and his representative, and now we should agree a transfer fee with Bayern Munich, and Bayern wants 50 million euros. And United don't want to pay that. 50 million, 50 million euros is around 42 million pounds. Tell me in the comment section, is 42 million pounds a good price for Delete at 24 years? Although his, his current contract at the Bayern Munich runs for three more years and is also on a wage of around 250,000 um, euro per week. And uh, United cannot pay that. That's way too much. It's going to come in and disrupt our structure. So hopefully we have, we have agreed a way less, um, um, salary package for him and if we are able to take that fee down a little bit to like maybe 35 million pounds or 40 million pounds maybe that would be more, a lot more reasonable right he's to um brightweight is 21 years everything wants 70 million for him um date is um 24 years if you can sign him for 35 million pounds and reduce his wages a little bit so maybe 200 k per week that wouldn't be a bad deal but leave, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think but that deal it's really, really moving forward. The lead could be here we go this week if a deal can be reached as fast as possible because that is the hottest transfer right now in terms of United and getting players in. The lead is the hottest. And after the lead, let's talk about Manuel Ugate as we are expecting former bids to be placed for Ugate um, very, very soon in the coming days because according to Sky Sports Germany again, he says he understands that Manuel Ugate is a serious target for United Talks took place as the 23-year-old can now leave PSG this summer. United wants to strengthen the central midfield. There are also rumors about Ugati and Bayern Munich, but currently he is not a topic of interest at Bayern. Uh, Ugati wants to move and PSG wants to sell him, so it's also about agreeing a transfer fee for him. We have already agreed personal terms with, with, uh, with Ugati. What United did was, before we spoke to these clubs, we already weighed... Talk to this agent, to all the agents and representatives of different players to know the salary package, to know everything to take to sign them. And now it's all about approaching the clubs next. United has spoken to many, many agents. Most players were, were interested in, we have spoken to their agents to know, to have an idea of how it, of how much to take to sign them. So now it's about speaking to clubs. Um, and that's why the deal is, is going really fast. If once we start negotiating with PSG, we already have talks with PSG. A, an informal bid was already placed, which was rejected, but an official bid might be placed very soon. An informal bid was placed 
because we, don't, we wanted to get a sense of what could be accepted. And I'm very sure once we place an official bid, we'll be expecting that whatever that official bid is to be to be um, to be accepted. Because we, we wouldn't want to waste too much time on you know placing multiple bids and it's and it's getting rejected. For example, Brightweight we placed a first bid which was rejected, and we haven't placed any other bid yet because to us we felt we feel like everything are only serious. But when everything is serious to negotiate, we will respect that whatever bid we place next will be accepted immediately. So that's why I haven't placed any bid yet. So that's the same thing for Ugati. The next bid we we'll place for him will probably be accepted. But for now, we need to know how much money we have available and how much PSG feel they will accept um, if we make a bid for him around the figure that makes sense to them, right? So keep an eye out for Ugati deal. That is something that could be, that could happen anytime. And next is Joshua Zexi, because according to the reports we are getting, United are in advanced talk, in, in advanced talks over the possibility of signing Bologna forward Joshua Zexi. We already know that we are speaking with his, we have spoken with his, uh, repre- or we are still speaking with his, repre- with his uh, representative because basically he has a release clause and there's no negotiation for, for a release clause, right? He's come and pay and go. So we are still discussing with his representative to know the salary package and every other thing. But that deal is really, really close because it says that it is reported that United are now stepping up negotiations to try and get a deal done. Zexi reportedly has a 34 million pounds with this clause within his Bologna contract and that becomes active from today, the 1st of July. That is when his release clause becomes active. So this week, honestly, is a very, very big week because we can get a year we go for one or two targets this week. So let's see what happens with Joseph Zexi. There's nothing new to or uh, to report other than um his release clause is active today and United are looking at stepping up the chase for him. Um the leads, Zexi, Ugate, any of those three players could be our first signing and uh, this summer and also can get a year we go for or even three of them this um this week. So let's see what happens and yeah. And talking about outgoings because McTominay is a player of interest for Fulham because according to a report, Fulham are exploring the possibility of signing the United uh, midfielder Scott McTominay in this summer transfer window. And it's also reported that Fulham have upped their interest in their pursuit of McTominay and they are looking to secure a deal. Remember, if we sell McTominay, that's pure profit. Go straight to our transfer budget. He's a youth player, so it's pure profit. So I see why we would want to sell him. But obviously, we, have, we would have to sell him at a reasonable fee. 35 million, 40 million pounds. Would be acceptable to me, in my own opinion, from a Scott McTominay. I don't know what they would accept, but that kind of fee would be acceptable. Because if we sell him, we have to sign another midfielder. Even without selling him, we still need to sign another midfielder. So if we sell him, it even makes it more urgent for us to sign a midfielder to replace him. So leave a comment and tell me, do you think we should sell Max Scott McTominay? For am I interested? And that's a deal we should get done if a bid comes in and a bid makes sense. Because Honestly, even Marcus Rashford is up for sale. If a very good bid coming for Marcus Rashford for Bruno Fernandes, I'm very sure we would sell them. But first of all, those bids need to come in. First things first, those bids need to come in. I'm um, talking about also some outgoings. Um, it, it, it was reported by ESPN that United are open to offers for centre backs Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof this summer. Um, and United have already cut their clothes at the centre back, releasing Rafael Varane. And it is highly likely that it is highly likely that one of Maguire or Lindelof will follow him out the door. Talks over a new deal for Geneva remain on- ongoing. It is reported that Turkish club Fenerbahce are interested in Victor Lindelof. Honestly, bo- both of them could leave. Harry Maguire and Lindelof could leave. We need to sign two, two new centre backs, and right here, right now, we'll sign one for sure. But if a good offer comes for Maguire or Lindelof, after one of them might have left, would, I'm sure we would sell. And Genevans is going to get a new contract. Genevans did okay, decent last summer. He's going to be some, last season, he's going to be someone that's going to be on the bench most of the time and help us, you know, fill up the space. And when we, when we're in crisis, he's going to come in and step up. That's what Evans is going to do. But players like Maguire, Lindelof, they have a, a value, right? They have a value and we need to catch in on those values before they come, they, they go past their thirties because those players are already coming towards their thirties and we need to sell them. They're not good enough for the system we want to play. These players do not fit in. They're not ball playing defenders. Both of them do not have that speed. Both of them cannot perform that role. So I don't see any reason why we need to keep them. Definitely not two of them. If we want to keep one, that's fine. That one we keep also going to be on the bench. It cannot be a starter. 
So, I, so if we can sell the two of them and get two new center backs, that would make a whole lot of sense. And of course, Johnny Evans too cannot do that, do that role, but keeping him at the, in the bench with his low wage and his age is this fine. It's fine. But for Lindelof and Maguire, they cannot, Lindelof and Maguire should be starting center backs at a decent, at a, at an average club. So they, they both need to be ambitious and try to move on because we need those spaces in our wages and we need more money in our transfer, in our budget, right? So both of them are likely to go. For the match, are interested in, in Lindelof. That's them. Um, Jose Mourinho is interested in Lindelof. So let's see what happens with that. And in terms of, um, um, uh, Gerard Brightweight also, there's a, it's highly unlikely now that we'll sign Brightweight. The PSRO, um, um, deadline has, deadline has passed. So Everton are, I in no rush to sell him. They will, might probably insist on the money they want and United might not really be willing to pay. So that one deal is most likely off, except something miraculous happened like Everton saying, okay, now we might want something a little bit less than what we wanted before. If that doesn't happen, he's not coming. Amabat's future is on the line. Um, it's, it's unknown for now because Dana Schwartz will be the one to decide, um, Amabat's future. So when Dana Schwartz settles down and starts his, his job properly, we will know the, f- the future of Amabat if we're going to try to sign him or if he's going to go. But leave a comment and tell me, should we send him back to Florentina? Already right here, right now, he's, he has, um, left the club officially, but we could see activate whatever, whatever, um, thing we can. I think it's 21 million, 17 million pounds we can activate to buy him, um, full time. But let's see what we do. That decision will be up to the Nashworth and his team. And also, last year, I in negotiations with United for Missing Greenwood. Let's see what happens with Missing Greenwood, honestly. There's not much coming out for Missing Greenwood, but a lot of love are interested in him. And, um, it's all about agreeing a fee for, for United, um, for United, right? Or with United for him. But Lazio, Marseille, Napoli, Juventus are all interested in Missing Greenwood. Let's see what the decision will be on Missing Greenwood. But those are a quick one up before we go. The Leeds deal is progressing very, very fast. Bayern wants 50, 50 million euros, which is 42 million pounds. We are, st- they are still negotiating with us. We are negotiating with them to reach an agreeable fee. For the leads, um, Ugate, a former offer, a former bid will be placed for Ugate very soon, as maybe as soon as this week. We are also interested in him, and that deal could also progress. Brightweight deal is likely off because Everton still do not want to come down from their from what they want, and United are not willing to pay that amount. So Brightweight is off for now. Dan Ashworth is in the job, and now he is going to be in charge of everything concerning player signings, incomings, and outgoings. Let's see how that progresses. Let's see how he steps up his job and let's see the amount of players who can get out and get into the club this summer. For McTominay, who am I interested in McTominay? Um, it depends on how much money we request for him, but McTominay might be interested in the move, but who am I definitely interested in him and let's see what happens with that over the coming weeks. Lindelof and Maguire also, one or two of them are highly likely to leave this summer. Let's see which club are interested in them. In them. Most likely after the Euros, we'll get to know where these players will end up and um, the offers that are going to come in for them. Amabat's future will be decided by um, Dana Schwartz. We still don't know what that's, what's going to happen with him, but let's see how that progresses. Lazio are still in discussions with United over the future of Mason Greenwood. That is all coming out today. Don't forget this is Dad United. They want stuff for everything. Manchester United. And I will see you all on the next one.